surprise for you you guys have been asking for it so today we're gonna make guys some beef okay so here I got some beef tenderloin then I have some potatoes because we're gonna make some potato gratin okay I got some onions for my sauce and then we're gonna do some uh, roasted tomatoes with garlic okay so that's gonna be our meal for today so let's start with the potatoes okay so that's where you guys need to start first okay so what we're gonna do Basically, is to peel those potatoes, okay? So, you know, I need a peeler, okay? And we gotta peel those potatoes. So now, we have our potatoes peeled, so we need to, uh, to slice them. So you can use a knife, but personally, I recommend that you use a, a mandolin, okay? So it's like this, so basically, you, you can adjust the size of your potatoes, okay? And then it's way faster than uh, if it was, um, made by nice okay so i'm gonna cut all my potatoes like that there you go don't forget to be careful with your fingers huh? so here i have all my potatoes already sliced so now you guys need um, a plate that goes into the oven okay we're gonna use some cream some pepper some salt and some ground uh, nutmeg Okay, so we're gonna start with some cream. So what we have to do guys is basically we have to build this in layers, okay? So what's really important is that you do layer by layer so that way when um, this is cooked and you have to cut it, you have like a nice block, everything's gonna be together. Also, one thing really important about this recipe, guys, it's once you cut those potatoes, once they're cut, you don't wash them. Why? Because we need that starch that's on the potatoes to make my gratin stick together. All the potatoes are gonna stick together because of this starch. So that's really important that once you slice those potatoes, you don't uh, wash them, okay? So here are my first layer. So I'm gonna add some salt. We'll add some pepper, we'll add some nutmeg, okay, just a little guys, it's, it's very powerful, don't put too much, okay. Then I'm gonna add some cream, again, okay, and I'm gonna keep building my thing, alright. Here we go, so here's our last layer, so we do the same like we always did, put some salt, some pepper, some nutmeg, okay. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of cream. But guys, what's important is not to go too high with the cream, why? Because once the cream is hot, you know, like milk, it's just gonna start boiling and then it's gonna run all over the place in your oven if you put too much. So, once you're done with this, you're gonna press a little bit with your hands, okay? Get your hands dirty a little. But so that way the cream goes everywhere, your potatoes, goes exactly where you want them to be okay so hands dirty but it's okay so now guys that we build our potato gratin what we need to do is obviously to cook it but we are gonna use some aluminium foil first why because we're about to cook this for about an hour okay so i'm gonna put some aluminium foil and cook it like this for 45 minutes okay once the 45 minutes are done, I'm gonna take this off and let this um, this gratin get a nice coloration. But if I put it like this straight away, basically my potatoes are gonna burn after an hour. So that's not what we want. So here I'm gonna put my potatoes straight to the oven, 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. 
Okay. And I'm gonna leave them here for 45 minutes. So now that we have our potatoes cooking in the oven, we're gonna take care of our sauce, okay? So we're gonna do today a red wine sauce, okay? So we're gonna use for this an onion, balsamic vinegar, uh, we're not gonna use the whole bottle of wine, but about half of uh, red wine, some salt, some pepper, and we're also uh, gonna use some uh, sugar, okay? So we're gonna start by peeling this uh, onion. So now that this onion is peeled, we're just gonna cut it in small dices. All right. Half onions, guys, is going to be um, is going to be enough. So now, guys, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a, a little pot. I'm gonna put my onions inside. So now I need to open this bottle of wine, obviously. I'll do it for you. It's okay. I'm not gonna say that French no better, but you already know. Damn, I'm crying on this onion. Is... Ah. This onion, guys, is making me cry right now. Hi Zoe! Hello! I take a glass so we can visualize a little bit. How much we're going to put? We're about to put like half bowl. Okay? But you can see. Mama! 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 So we need. We really need a good amount of red wine, guys, because it's going to reduce and that's how we're going to get all this flavor. Also, for this recipe, um, I'm going to use some balsamic vinegar. So it's gonna give a little acidity to my sauce. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. So the equivalent of like two tablespoons, okay? And then the equivalent also of two, uh, a big tablespoon of sugar. So this is gonna kill um, the acidity of my vinegar a little bit, okay? Oh. Then I'm just going to put some pepper. Touch of salt. All right, and this I'm going to put in in the stove. So you're just gonna um, heat it up until boil, and then you gotta turn it low so it can boil uh, very very low, reduce and cook our onions. So this is is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? And uh, anyway, our uh, potato gratin is cooking right now, so this we're gonna take care of it. Now we're going to take care of our tomatoes. So here I, I got some little tomatoes, what you guys call in America Campari tomatoes. Okay. So they're basically uh, the tomatoes on grapes. Okay, so here I'm gonna cut to keep this. Okay, so it can look nice. So what I'm gonna do is simply to roast those tomatoes. Okay, so that's, that's really easy guys. You just have to put your tomatoes Okay, you add a little salt, and add some pepper, some olive oil. Here I have some dry rosemary, a nice flavor to my tomatoes. And also I'm gonna cook them with some whole garlic. Okay, it's gonna give a little flavor to it as well. More olive oil. And for this, guys, we're going to wait a little bit to put in the oven. Why? Because this doesn't need um, the same time of cooking that the um, potato gratin. Potato gratin is really long, it's about an hour, but this, honestly, in 15 to 20 minutes, it's done. Hi, right, guys, so as you can see, this sauce reduced a lot, almost nothing left. How long has it been cooking? It's been like 15 minutes, but you, you see it was like low, guys. Don't don't make it too fast. Why? Because you still need your onions to cook at the end of the day, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna strain the sauce. I'm gonna use both of the onions and the sauce, but I just wanna separate them so that way I have a better result uh, in the plate. It's gonna basically look better, okay? So as you can see guys, I don't have that much, you see? Alright, okay, so I'm gonna keep those onions for later. Now I have this sauce, so you can see it's it's already a little thicker, okay? But then we're gonna add other stuff later, I'm gonna show you, and make it thicker, alright? So now we're still waiting on this potato gratin to be finished to cook. So now we're on hold, guys. So 
So let's wait, let's be patient. All right guys, so now we're gonna check on our potatoes. The most important thing to know is, depending on your oven, this potato gata might cook, you know, 15 minutes more, 15 minutes less, you don't know, but I'm gonna show you right now how you know when it's cooked or not. So, let's take the aluminum foil. So you see now it's cooking. Everything is cooking, you see the cream is boiling, okay? We can see kinda already that it's not cooked, okay? But what you guys need to do is with this, with a knife, okay, you need to go through. So here, it's still a little firm, so it's not good. So now I'm just gonna keep it five, ten more minutes, okay? So the, the potatoes are really all the way cooked, and then I will take off the aluminum foil and make it golden brown on top. Yeah. That's it. Oh! Ooh. So, yeah, so now, you see, it's completely cooked. So here's what we're gonna do. It's time to put our tomatoes. I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna put some aluminum foil. Okay, I'm gonna put in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and right next to it, guys, I got my potatoes, okay? Aluminum foil off. Aluminum foil off and tomatoes, aluminum foil on, mm -hmm. all right? So we're gonna set up for minutes okay and now we still have to wait all right guys so it's been 15 minutes okay so now we're gonna check a little bit of what's going on you see so the gata start to to be um golden brown and you see our tomatoes the uh the skin just started kind of open they slow so that means that they're almost there so now what we're gonna do we're gonna keep the aluminum foil on it but now guys it's time to start the meat Okay, so here's our beef tenderloin. Okay, so we're gonna turn on the, the heat high on this pan. Okay, so don't forget we need to put salt and pepper before we cook them. Okay, before it hits the pan. Alright. Alright guys, so now we're gonna um, take these potatoes out of the oven because you see, I'm sure you guys can imagine how hot this is, okay? So we're just gonna take it off the oven now, let it cool down for two minutes. Yeah, I got my meat, alright? So now it's almost ready guys, so that's when I'm gonna add a little piece of butter. I'm gonna add some thyme. And that's when you add your butter, your garlic and your thyme guys, because you don't want your butter to burn. You don't want your garlic to burn. So all of this obviously is going to be flavored on my meat. Right. So now, the meat is cooked. All right. So you're just going to take it off, guys. All right. Like this. Okay. Oh. They took my garlic my time. They did the job. All right. So now I took off. All my fat guys, but you see, always when you cook some meat, you get this little meat flavor that stays here. So I'm just gonna add my sauce, okay, so you can have this little meat flavor that my tenderloin left in the pan, goes into my sauce. Okay, all right. Now let's check on those tomatoes. Perfect, okay. All right, so here I got some butter, guys. I'm just gonna add, you see, like, literally a pinch of flour, okay? It's just to make my sauce a little thicker than what it is right now, all right? Put my butter right here. So now this is almost reduced. Oh. Add my butter, okay? And this, so I make my sauce a little thicker, okay? So now the sauce is ready, so you see, I don't have that much sauce. What's important, guys, is not the quantity, but the quality. Also, you see the meat, give all of this, ah, we don't lose no flavor here. All right, okay. And then the sauce will be ready. 
Then my onions, they're here, they're hot. They're ready. So now, now guys, we're ready for the best part of the plating. Okay, so let's do it. Now, this is when guys, you see if you did it right or not. Because this obviously needs to be all together. Okay? So. Wow. So here I got one. Yeah, I got another one. So now, I take one of my meat. So this, up. Oh, Cause I put some string, guys. So obviously, I need to take it out before I put it in my plate. For this dish, guys, I'm gonna use a little ring, so that way I can plate my onions and make it pretty. Right. So now I got my onions. All right. I'm gonna put my meat. Put some onions here. Some chopped parsley just to give a little color here and there. That's some parsley just to add some greens. This one's really big. Here we go. Wow. And that's about it, guys. So here you have one plating, here you have another. So then you can choose the one you want, the one you like, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wait, we're not gonna test it for them? I hope, of course we're gonna taste, but <laughs> first, I hope they enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy, um, you know, cooking with me today. So, hopefully, you'll make it at home, and Sam, I guess, wants to uh, try it in front of you, <laughs> so. Okay guys, I'm doing this for you to let y'all know if it really tastes as good as it looks. So I'm gonna get a nice piece of beef, get some of that onion, some of that sauce. Okay, ready? So? It's so good, it's like sweet, but then it's still a little acidity, like you said. Mm, but it's not too really much. Good. Not too much, let me try. Looks like those. Oh, but these potatoes are hot. Yeah. I like my little, I like a little sauce on my potatoes, y'all. So, mmm. Okay, so, oh my god, y'all, it's so good. I love cooking videos because <laughs> I'm the true beneficiary. Oh, oh my god. Okay, it's time to eat, baby. <laughs> Let's finish this video. <laughs> time to eat. All right. Cheers. All right guys, so that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it and subscribe to this channel if you didn't do it yet, all right? And let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you want to do it at home. And if you make it at home, send me some picture, why not, <laughs> right? Okay, thank you guys for watching. We love you and see you soon on our channel. Bye. Bye guys.